nine memorable space-related events. So the first one that I'm going to show is from the SpaceX channel. And part of this video I have sped up, but uh, at a certain point in, in their video, the globe looks like it has a giant piece of it missing. That's kind of interesting. The second one I'm going to show is NASA's Apollo 11 moon lander. So the ID number on this picture is AS11-40-5922. And if I was going to pick only one thing to talk about from this picture, I would say it would be this corner here. It looks to me like they came up short on the floor and uh, maybe put in a patch in there. You see that? Here is the ISS live tracker. So on the screen is a graphic representation of where the ISS is supposed to be. And so when I change the date ahead on my computer by one day, then shortly after the graphic disappeared and it was replaced with this image. And then when the live tracker came back, the ISS graphic was relocated to a different location. That's kind of interesting. Here's the Virgin Galactic rocket plane, apparently going into space for the first time. So when it's way up there, it looks like the Earth has significant curve. And then when the uh, plane comes back down and it's not far off from landing, the Earth still looks like it has significant curve. Well, that's kind of interesting. Here is another picture of NASA's Apollo 11 moon lander. So the ID number on this picture is AS11-40-5893. So, but look at the gap here. I mean, you could probably reach right inside there, almost. Big gap. Uh, I'm assuming that this is aluminum now. So, uh, like, look at the fit and finish of this machine, like right here. Check that out. So, probably an uh, inch and a half too big, maybe two inches too much room there. And uh, something happened here. More stuff going on here with the, the way they fabricated this and fit it together. You can see up here. And, and like, wow. So look at the panel right here. So they got the rivets going on here, rivets, rivets. And then here they cut the panel. You see how they cut a corner out of it? it kind of looks like that panel should be fitting in here nice. But they cut a they cut a corner out of it when they like what, what why would they have to cut that corner out of there why wouldn't you make it fit the machine nice you know if you look right here there's a little fastener see and another one here and I think it's the same kind of fasteners that they were using along the top here and uh, there's a pair here and a pair here and you can see it kind of pulls in that material as it's inserted. So this looks like the same kind of a fastener and it's obviously quite a bit different than what I think here is a rivet. Okay, a couple of rivets here and a very small little fastener here and here and you can see it pulls that panel in a little bit right there where it pushes in. So you guys think a little bit what kind of a fastener would be really small like that and fasten into a a light brown colored material on the back side. What do you think about that a little bit? This video is also from the SpaceX channel. So this car is apparently designed in such a way that it is possible from this perspective to look through a portion of this car and see through to the other side. Interesting thing happens later in the video. Check this out. Here is some older video. At one point, the globe, it looks like it stops moving and then starts up again. That's kind of interesting. The uh, Unity module extended about 40 feet out of the payload bay, and so the arm was almost fully extended as we brought Zarya up and over Unity into the install position. We actually couldn't see the mating surface where it was going to meet, so we had to use cameras alone. This is the elbow camera view. And again, we fired the thrusters. 
This next video was apparently also recorded on the space shuttle and it shows apparently the space station being recorded out the window and I'm going to play this part forward reverse repeating a few times but check this out it looks like the space station is entering into the window. So last but definitely not least is some more video from the SpaceX channel and this was apparently recorded on the uh, space station. So a guy comes, looks like he's floating into the room and then watch the camera. The lens housing of the camera, it looks like it passes through that blue pole. 